Something I neglected to mention at the very beginning of this Let's Play. You know your company's famous for spelling errors when you spell the company's name wrong on the start screen. Licensed by Nintendo, 1999 Natume Inc. instead of Natsume. Although, admittedly, it's not Natsume's fault, it's the company that translated this. But whatever, amusing nonetheless. In the meantime, hi guys, Colorful Artie's back for more awesome times in Harvest Moon 64. So, it looks like tomorrow is going to be sunny. Just to make sure, yep, this should... well... No, this looks wrong. This is the wrong save state, I'm sorry. There we go, that should be the right one. <laughs> that makes more sense. So as you can see, we've got the medals we won at the horse race right there. Still the broken music box, but Rick is open, so we should get it fixed today. Sweet! Hey! Hi, Artie! Do you know the Flower Festival? I do, but for the sake of my viewers, I will say no, I don't. It's a festival to bring good luck to the harvest. You can vote for the goddess up until the day before the festival, which is on the 23rd. The ballot box is in the square. So, see you at the festival. So yeah, the Flower Festival, not only do they have a lot of good stuff for sale... Ooh, voting for the goddess is being held now. Please vote when you drop by the square. Yep. So voting for the goddess, uh, one of the five main girls can be voted as the flower goddess. And then they get to dance with the Harvest King. So the lucky lady who wins that will get to da have the honor of dancing with the potion shop dealer. So that'll be fun. Shoot, should've grabbed my egg from the chicken. Oh well. I can give that egg to Ellie today. Hey, squirrel. Yeah, those are there are wild animals lying around on the overworld. Like that squirrel over there. If you sneak up on them, you can actually pick them up and carry them around and show them to people. However, they don't really have any practical purpose in the game. Hello! Oh, now I can speak it. Wow, thank you! See ya! So they can speak our language now, but they're still aloof. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get them there. We'll get them to friendly. Yeah, there's that ladybug back there. You can pick that up, too. Much easier to pick that up. Okay, that's a good amount of stuff I will also get. Ooh, hey! Hi, Basil. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. How are you doing? Oh, new chicken. Never mind. Ellie's not getting a egg today. Uh, let's see... Tammy. Oh, they're all adorable. Eventually the chicks do grow up into adult chickens and they will lay eggs as well. Fortunately, or I should say conveniently, the chickens who get hatched from the incubator are always female. Hi, Rick. Fix my music box for me, please. Yep, the ballot box is right here. Who will be the goddess of the flower festival this year? Cast your votes. You can make the decision. So it doesn't guarantee who we vote for will win, but it does help sway the favor. I would like Papari to win, because she really likes flowers, and it's a flower festival, and she's the only girl I would not want to dance with. For the purposes of this game, only. She's a very nice girl, but... Uh, in this playthrough, I don't want her to get to a pink heart until year two. We select a goddess before the flower festival. Please cast your vote. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Oh, that's right. So I could give it to her or I'm gonna not give. Hee <laughs> hee, see you later. Thankfully, she's not insulted if we don't give it to her. But yeah, basically, first girl you talk to, or just any girl you talk to, will notice the music box, and you have the option of giving it to them. Welcome! Please order something from the menu. I'm not gonna order something from the menu. If I ordered something, it would be from the display case, so I could get... Actually, maybe I should do that. Hi, Maria! Pretty music box. It has a wonderful sound. Very soothing. Here, Maria, I know I already gave you one of these before, but you definitely want a second one for your collection. I thought I 
that up? Did I not fill that up? Doggone it. Speaking of doggone it, I have... I don't even care where my dog is. I'm such a good dog owner. To be fair, I'm more of a cat person in real life. Hey, buddy. You sure are taking everything from the mountains. Maybe somebody else wanted to pick them today. Well, you know what? That other person can deal with it. Drip, drip, drop, little April shower. Re really tune to the bump of the way. I don't know the lyrics at all. Oh no, I don't know them at all. Drip, drip, drop, little April shower. Oh no, it looks it's like it's gone from the can. Oh no, no, now it's just an April day like any other one. You little son, you little son. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. We'll be clear from the morning without a cloud in the sky. As usual. Oh, it's this guy! Hello, anybody home? Hello, I'm a traveling salesman. Today I've brought a special product just for you. It's called Super High Grade Chicken Feed. If you feed your chickens with this food, they'll lay golden eggs! Isn't that something? Costs 150 G for 10 meals. Yeah, this is a total scam, it's just regular chicken feed. Don't buy. No, no, listen to me, sir. You're asking, so what if they're golden? But these eggs are different. They are mega nutritious, full of calcium and vitamins. You can sell them for 10 times the normal price. Come on, buy some. Nope. Oh, sir, your purse strings are tight. Well, okay then, in addition to the feed, I'll throw in some soap. You're not going to find a better deal. It's really special. And just 150 G. So I actually one time bought it at this point just to see if I would actually get the free soap as like a special item. You don't, he lies. Well, okay, but don't blame me when you come to regret it later. Yeah, I won't. Yeah, that guy's literally just called the Shady Salesman. Oh, what is going on here? So that is what happens if you touch the control stick. What the heck? Bring it back to the way it was! This is wasting my time! Oh, actually, never mind. It looks like time stops when you're doing that. Sweet! Cool. Our first chick has grown up! She doesn't lay an egg right away, but she will tomorrow. However, at this point, we now go for twice chicken feed, but that is perfectly fine. Bother. <laughs> Pink catmint seeds have arrived. Will be sold at the flower festival. Floristilia. I'm not going to get the kitchen until after the flower festival because there's so much stuff at the festival I, I want to buy. Especially if I end up buying pink catnip seeds. Hey dude, this herb relieves tiredness, but only a bit. My medicine works much better. Thanks for bragging. Hi, have you gone fishing yet? Well, life is long. We should live with a little slack. Yeah, we should. I like my free time. That fisherman has the knowledge. What do you think I'm going to do today? I'm going to give this guy an edible grass. Oh, thank you. I'll teach you how to cook with mountain herbs. They're good for the body, too. And we get the miso soup with spreads recipe. Might as well start collecting the recipes. I've got gold now. Oh, hey, it's Karen. Hi, Karen. Hello. Okay, I thought because you said hello, you might actually be semi-interested in a conversation with me. Clearly, I was wrong. Oh, hey, Basil! Sweet! There you go. Oh, thank you very much. How are you doing? Hey, Stu. You know, there's a medicine plant growing in the cave. It helps a little when you're tired. Yep, he's saying the medicinal herbs cure your fatigue a little bit. Very nice. One thing I'm going to do today, I am going to buy Moondrop Seeds. Just one packet. And there's a reason for that. It's 300 G. That's a lot. But they'll give us this card when we buy flower seeds with 10 stickers, you can get a raffle ticket at the end of the year, here. So basically they're going to sell the special pink catmint seeds at the flower festival. If you don't have a card from their store, that's not going to give you a new card. But if you do, then buying those flowers will actually increase the points on your card. And it would be nice for us to be able to get one raffle at the end, because with uh, resets we can ensure we'll get the best prize. 
When I'm tired, I drink a cup of tea. It warms and refreshes my body and spirit. This guy loves his tea. This is why I brought the cabbage. Oh, hello! If you don't know something, just ask someone in the village. I just did, and you weren't very helpful. We restore books here. Old books deteriorate so rapidly. It took me until I actually started Let's Playing to realize I'm kind of bad at speaking and slur words a lot. <laughs> or more often than not, I try to say two words that mean the same thing at the same time, and it ends up butchering both of them. So like, I try to say laugh and chuckle at the same time, so it comes out as like, luck chuckle. The chuck! <laughs> That's a Monkey Island reference, unintentional. Oh, it's you- Oh! He doesn't tell us off for talking to him anymore. I, I actually do want to become friends with Gray, because if we do, we get to see some nice cute little scenes of him and Poppery together. Because he and Poppery end up becoming a couple if you don't become a couple with Poppery. Which is a very interesting combination. But they work well together. I am such a terrible dog owner. I apologize to any hardcore dog lovers out there. I promise you, starting in autumn, I will take good care of my dog. But for these first two seasons, I need to keep him in bad shape. How much lumber do I- Oh man, I have like no lumber. Oh, bother. I should probably be going up to cut all the stumps now. I got a squirrel! Oh yeah, it's Cliff! I'm traveling all about on foot with Kane. Um, uh, no, never mind. See you later. Hey, May. You know, my daddy buys and sells crops. He's always busy. There you go. There are flowers right there, so why not? Oh, hi, Anne. It's not every day I see you at the Goddess Pond. Is that for me? Thank you! Thank you for going five, two inches out of your way to pick that up for me. My affection will go up never, ne nevertheless. <laughs> you can raise any animal you want, but you have to treat them with affection. Because they're sensitive. That is true. Hey, Anne. Want to see something really cool? It's like a magic trick. How oh, boom! I can make a goddess appear with an egg. Hello, how are you? What will be today? Hey, Anne. I'm wishing for love. <laughs> Remember, that's boosted Maria's affection ever so slightly, ever- <laughs> Oh man. But alas. Oh, darn it. I forgot. Ellie's not even here today. It's Sunday. Occasionally at the s- Oh! It's Rick! I forgot he could appear at the square, and that's what I was looking for. Hi, you two. You guys are a very cute couple. I totally forgot Rick can be here. <laughs> Thank you, Rick! <laughs> I really appreciate it! Oh, wow! Everybody's in the library today! Like, everybody! <laughs> well, there's no mail on Sundays! <laughs> That's Harris's reasoning behind why everyone's in the library. I'm trying not to depend on God, because there's only one God and lots of people. I don't want- I don't think God grants people too many requests, so I'm gonna treasure my requests. That is both wise and also not biblically sound. God's omniscient, so he's everywhere, so he can focus on everybody all at the same time. So you go ahead and keep keep praying to God, little kid. It'll, it'll go far. Karen's a good dancer. I've seen her dancing at the beach. Oh, well then. How about that? Hey, it's a music box! This looks exactly like the other two I've gotten before. Really? I can have a fern? Thank you so much! My son's a buyer. Have you met him? Yes. He comes by my farm every day and says, This is all today's shipment, right? I'm taking it, okay? This is all today's shipment, right? I'm taking it, okay? Ah, there's no better breakfast than powdered donuts. It's a new chicken! Yay! I know it's a chicken, and it's a girl, but why not Otis? Alright. Only one more chicken we can get now. 
But hey, we now, because we saved our egg from yesterday, we have an egg for the goddess and an egg for Ellie. Provided it's not the flower festival, but whatever. I'm from America, so you know I'm a big fan of capitalism. Yeah, if we push A next to this hole... Two other Harvest Sprites. See ya. And... See ya. Yeah, because these are technically, I believe, the same NPC, just, like, copied over three different times. Also, there's a hole over here, but where on earth does it lead? You actually can never go through that hole. But I have a, I have a hunch I know where it goes, and it's really weird, if I'm correct. Ellie, hi! Wow, that's helpful, thanks! Oh, hi, you going fishing too? Today's a nice day for fishing. Rest when you're tired, okay? Yeah, Ellie does like to fish in her spare time. One of those uh, cool little character uh, bits you don't learn unless you read between the lines and go out of your way to find out. One of the reasons why I like this game so much. I think we'll pay a visit to the vineyard today. We haven't done that in a while. Oh, hang on. Where's my chicken feed supply going? Nine bags remaining. Okay, we're fine. We can buy some on Wednesday. There's Karen. Yeah, I do want to get her up to a blue heart. You always look so energized. I envy you. She's actually talking to us. Yeah, this is the uh, wine cellar. And we can go down, and this is where they make the wine. It's a pity we can't drink any of it. Karen and Kai go there when it's rainy. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, but I'm busy now. Come again later. Hello. Excuse me. You're a man of few words, aren't you? This is Karen's mom, also known as Sasha. Nice to meet you. Hello. Do you still need something? She looks so sad. Again, her home life is not the best either. That is Karen's room. She'll get mad if you enter. That I can believe. But apparently Karen's room is the only other room in the house because, wow. Where do the parents sleep? In the wine cellar? That's terrible. Alright. I'm gonna try holding up and left when coming out here. Yep, there we go! Haha! <laughs> out of bounds! That's funny. Hey! If it isn't my favorite botanist! How's it going, Basil? How are you doing? Alright. Oh, that's right, it doesn't tell me. Oh, today is Poppery's birthday! Well, you know, I might as well take advantage of that. She's right here. Hey, Poppery, happy birthday! A gift? Gosh, how nice! Thank you! Busy with the farm? Keep at it! If you give a girl a present on her birthday, it'll boost her affection by way more than it normally does. So giving Poppery a flower, which she already really likes on her birthday? Big boost in affection. So that really helped out. Hi, Maria! Library's closed on Monday, so she's hanging out by the church. How very spiritual of her. Oh, yeah! Here, Rick! Oh, you look like you're okay. Oh, because I often close the shop? No, I'm not sick. Just as I thought, Dad said that you should take your business a little more seriously. See ya! Boy, I just saw Uncle's angry face. Anna's my cousin, so I know I've known her since we were kids. Another little interesting bit of character lore. Although it totally makes sense, since they all have orange hair. Hey, Rick! Fix my music box. I'm not sure if he would have done it, because that was a cutscene. And I didn't want to glitch out of getting more, uh, Music boxes. His music boxes are so good. Hey, where did Maria go? She was right there! I am actually going to create a safe state here, I think. I really want to find her. The library's closed? Is she in her house? She's not in her house. We say like they've got us before the flower festival. Please cast your vote. Well, bother. Where could Maria be? That is so weird how Maria disappeared before she was supposed to. NPCs are supposed to stick around until 5 in the afternoon. Ooh, heck, everybody's here tonight. Well, a lot of people are here tonight. There you go, Regis. 
Here we mainly serve local wines. That makes sense. This is an easygoing town. I can relax. People in other towns don't usually like strangers. Okay, 23rd. Tomorrow, cool. I think we can do the flower festival tomorrow. We should have time for that. Okay, okay, see ya. Oh, hey, she's no longer getting peeved at us. I'm not old enough yet to remember bygone days of sadness, but I have begun to feel sentimental. Nice night, huh? You just say the same thing over and over again. Let's both try our best. That sounds like a good idea. So, wow, this is the only day thus far I've not been able to talk to Maria or give her a present. Yoo-hoo, brother! Say, your horse is big now. For sure enter the local horse race. See ya. Yep, our horse is big now. Sweet. No mail today. Oh well. So now we can no longer talk to the horse. Instead, we can get on and ride it. So now getting on the horse... Oh, Silo, no fodder yet. Now getting on the horse will boost its affection as opposed to talking to it. And yay, we have a furred chicken now that's fully grown. So today we only need one egg for the goddess since it's a festival. One thing I'm going to do before going out today and going to the festival... Just in case, I want to make some room in my tool case, so... I'm going to put the flower seeds in the toolbox, because I'm going to get two new tools at the flower festival. And again, make sure you bring lots of cash to the flower festival. Hello, Artie! The Goddess and her entourage are coming soon! That's good. This festival is dedicated to the Goddess of Spring. In the old days, we carried around a statue of the Goddess. But today, young girls in the village dress up in costume. So there's the first thing we want money for. Those are empty bottles! Aren't they beautiful? You can put any liquid you want in them. And they're cheap, just 200 G. Oh, I thought they were 300. Sweet! Thank you, please take good care of it. This will be at the Flower Festival every year until you buy it, so it's not a huge deal if you don't get it first year. But the empty bottles are very nice items to have. You should receive a blessing from the goddess. Wish for a wonderful year. Hi, I normally have such little contact with flowers. It's nice being able to take my time and looking at them. What a good smell. I love flowers, but keep that a secret because boys aren't supposed to like the things like that. There's nothing wrong with liking flowers as a dude. These sweet pickled flowers taste good. Ew. It's getting harder to obtain medicinal herbs. It's got me worried. Uh, that may, may or may not have something to do with the fact that I've been gathering every single one every day and selling them. Please don't get mad at the potion shop dealer. Hello, the seeds we're selling today are the seeds I found in faraway places. Try go growing some of them. So before that, shady salesman here. So how about this power nut? You gain power when you eat it, and it's 100% natural. It costs only a thousand G. This is the one thing he sells that's actually real. You want to buy it. Thank you, you've got a good eye. Yeah, I do. Thank you, Mr. Shady Salesman. Oh, I can't see my gold count. Oh, well. Those are pink catmint seeds. You can plant them from spring to summer. The price is 300 G. Oh, I can't see my gold. I want to buy five of them. That's a lot of money, but honestly, the kitchen's 5,000. I don't have anywhere near enough lumber for it, so I'm totally going to get the money back by the time I need it. This is also the only time in the entire year you can buy pink catmint seeds, and I really, really want to boost up my card count, and it would just be nice to get them at this point, so I'm going to buy five of them. Thank you. Make lots of blooms. And now it's just a waiting game. The girls are getting ready at the horse track, apparently. Man, hardly anybody comes to the flower festival. Oh, here come the girls. Who's the flower goddess? Oh, it's Ellie! I'm not sure if I've ever seen Ellie as the flower goddess before. Very cute. Hey, Anne. Here's a flower. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Here's a flower. You can keep getting flowers. I forgot about that. Whatever the festival, it's a good excuse to drink. That I'm gonna agree to disagree with you there, Karen. 
I'm not a drinker myself. But I'm not opposed to it, I guess. Hello, here you go. Hey, Puffery! Nice smell, huh? It just opened this morning. I'm glad you were there. I wanted you to see me. How did I look? You looked gree, or you looked okay? <laughs> you looked gree! I'm glad to hear you say that. Aw, that was like one of the embarrassed sprites she had. Now it's time to choose your dance partner. Oh yeah, I choose you. Hurry up and choose. I choose you, the potion shop dealer, and I can't. The potion shop dealer is the king, so he gets to dance with the goddess, so... He's dancing with Ellie. That's a little weird. Hey, shady salesman, be my partner? <laughs> no? Okay. Can I dance with your wife, pal? Brings back memories of the day I danced with my husband for the first time. I remember the time my wife was the goddess. Only the king can dance with the goddesses. I felt so vexed at that time. Ooh, that's a good word. Vexed. It's kind of embarrassing, dancing. I can't dance well, yet. I'm not good at dancing. I envy young people so full of joy and hope. Surely you're not asking me to dance. I, th I thought you were cool with that, dude. Alright. Hey, Miss Robot. To get a partner, just go talk to a girl. Well, that's easier said than done. Some of us are shy and have a hard time asking girls that. So yeah, you can ask one of the four girls here to dance, because unfortunately, the goddess should dance with the king. That's why I did not want Maria to be the goddess, because I want to dance with Maria, because whoever you dance with gets an affection boost. Come on, choose your partner! I've never had him say that before. That's funny. Be my dance partner? I'll ask Maria. Everybody do the chicken dance, it's all rage. Oh, everybody do the chicken dance, yes, it's all the rage. Everybody come on, please do the chicken dance. This flower festival was brought to you by Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so weird that they all do the chicken dance. Except the mayor and his wife and the potion shop dealer. All the yun all the yununs these days are doing the chicken dance. <laughs> and yet it's so adorable. Today was a good day, and I'm gonna have a good sleep. Well, chicken dances aside, that's all the time we have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Shoot, I forgot to make a save state before the day loaded, but that's fine, I probably won't need it. Tune in for the next episode. Ah, uh, we might. No, we're not gonna finish up. Yeah, we're not gonna finish up spring, but we'll definitely get close. Have a great day, and God bless.